Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, the Copper Owl, bringing you a Nerf comparison video. So I am comparing the blasters that are hammer action, but have the smart AR system of four darts. I know there are blasters that use two darts that are hammer action and all that, but I'm leap I am not gonna put those in this group because those are in a league of their own. And also I don't have all of them. I am missing one of them and it's become my white whale. But let me get to, so I'm considering these their own thing because one, they're bigger and two, they are sort of more practical in a sense in that you can use these as a secondary or even a primary blaster. Whereas the other blasters, you could might not even consider them as a secondary because they're so small that literally one of them, the gimmick is that it's hidden within the blaster, the blaster stock and everything. So effectively, you could have three blasters on your person. Well, you could have a bunch of blasters, but effectively like you have your primary or secondary and part of your primary is a hidden blaster so that's why i'm not considering those in this grouping so i'm just going to talk about these ones so got the rebel for victory right here and this one i got for twenty dollars yes i spent twenty dollars on this i had to buy it online because the rebel blasters are just so rare and all that and i can't find this one and I am missing the duet. The duet is the last blaster in the collection of hammer action blasters. And it's expensive. If you have a duet out there, you're going to put it in an eBay. Don't be a jerk. Don't be asking for a ton of money. I'm not paying for it. There are duets online. They're just super expensive. I want, I'm want. i not buying them. Okay, I will, I will wait till a thrift shop has them. Okay. Yeah, so then we have the Doom Lance Persuader. And all that. I got this one at Goodwill for I think it was three dollars, maybe two dollars, and all that. And this one was filthy on the inside. There was literally a roach stuck inside the spring. This was disgusting, but but I didn't need it for my collection and all that. And then we have the Fortnite SR. The Peely version. Well, I have the other one, but I and yeah, all that. So there we go. These are the three blasters. And so let's go over the pros and cons. Of these. So the pro is that they're hammer action. You could dual wield them and all that. So just as a concept, but and they're front loading. No really no mechanic, no big gimmicks or anything like that. You could just pick up darts off the ground and there you go. Not that. So, you kind of hammer action. You could. What is it called? Um, uh, I forget the thing, but it's kind of like a rapid fire, but it doesn't really work. But, um, I forgot. Fan. You can fan the gun. That's what it's called. On all of these, it's just, it's not good. And all that. And compared to a hammer shot, they vary in size. Too. So this is around the same size as the hammer shot, a little bit smaller. So the pros and the, the four victory is that it's nice and smooth. Okay, and that's a, and its darts are in this T. It starts with fire in this T pattern, which you could see as a pro and as a con because if you fire fast enough, you might not need to really adjust your aim because. Or you might have to adjust it further because it's going in the other direction, depending where you're shooting. So it's a it's a weird system and training method you have to use with this blaster. But I do consider its smoothness as a, as a bonus. And I don't remember, I don't know if this came with like a holster. It might have. I'm not sure because again, I got this off of eBay. And all that. So that could be a plus and all that but the cons are one it's also it's has no sling attachment point 
which all of these, which only one of these technically has, but yeah, there's no sling attachment points. It's, it's, um, again, it's priming isn't, is a little bit hard, but not too hard. It doesn't stretch out my thumb. It doesn't feel, it doesn't feel awkward. It, it does, well, it does feel a little bit awkward. It feels like I'm using a little bit more muscle with this one. Though the handle is probably the better, it's probably one of the better ones, but it's still a little bit small, but it has that little lip and all that. So that's this one. Let's look at the Persuader. Persuader has the Doomlands aesthetic. It has this big bulky thing. See, it looks cool. It's a pain to paint these things, but this one has a sling attachment and it has the, the top down AR system. So you could you just point, fire, fire. Of course, the darts might not be accurate darts, but still it's like fire, fire, fire. You don't have to like a kind of do weird training, just point and shoot, but the last one's always weaker. Not that. The grip is textured, and it kind of digs into me, but if but it also feels like I'm not going to drop it. It's not going to slip out of my hand and all that. So, and they all have tactical rails on top and everything. And performance-wise, they're all pretty much the same from what I could tell. Now, this one is like... Mm, it has the same pro. I, I I take the grip as a con. I feel the grip is a bit more uncomfortable, but it has that pro of having a sling attachment point to it. If you consider that a pro and all that, but its con is that it's very big. It's hard to holster and all that. So that's the problem. It's just its shape. So, and then we have the SR with the peeling, and this one. It's just like the Persuader, top down. Now, this one comes with a scope though, but again, the scope doesn't really work. It's a toy scope. It's just, you can see, look, I'm shaking my finger in there and all that. It has a big handle. It's a, it feels hard. It kind of, it does feel a bit harder to pull back the hammer on this. Like I am reaching harder more than that one and all that, but it is comfortable and everything. This is a pain to holster though. It's really big, especially if you have the scope on and everything. Uh, it's just a bigger, it's bigger, it's longer, and more bulkier, but sort of more bulkier than the Persuader and all that. So it's not really much a comparison, you know. This one's the best one because it's just a more narrow blaster. And all that. It's just, it's, you just need a little bit of extra training with it, though, because of the darts coming out from the side. Because they have the, they all have the same kind of pros, and they all have the same kind of, and but this one just does not have that con of being a big bulky thing. The problem is with the four victory is that it's really rare, and all that. It's this you can still buy on shelves right now, and this you can find in thrift shops. But I had to go on eBay and spend twenty dollars on this. So, but you can always just ignore that. Use the hammer shot or just for victory. I mean, not the, the sweet revenge. I mean, the sweet revenge. And all that. So it's not really that big of a deal if which one of these you're going to use and all that. But I do see a place for these blasters in that those they're, they're sort of easier to reload. It's gotta spin this. You gotta do that little extra thing. It's not a hard mechanic or dynamic to do, but it's just the little extra second that you might need to load these things. Not that. But being smart AR, they are weaker after every shot. So that's another problem. It's just, there is a, a, there is somewhat of a place for these things in a nerf game. But there, there's like also, 
not a place for them. They're the middle, they're the middle child in the group. Because they're not small like the double strike. You can just hide it in a pocket. And they're not, and they don't have as much ammo capacity as a hammer shot. But their performance is not as good as a hammer shot. And all that. But and two out of the three of them are very bulky and are somewhat bigger than the hammer shot. Whereas the one that isn't is more awkward in and how it fires. So it's a really odd thing. I like these blasters, and I would like a reason to use them, but there's no practical reason to use them other than you kind of could reload faster with them. If, but in all honesty, using the double strikes is a lot easier in that gonna go pirate and put them on a bandolier these would be too big for that and another aspect the cosplay aspect like yes this is nice smooth smoothness is great and all but it doesn't really I can't imagine a, a cosplay thing for this whatsoever it's not like the other rebel blasters which are more ornate and have like a front lock pistol kind of look this I cannot see anything with the persuader has that Mad Maxi kind of kind of look to it, but it's still kind of awkward as a cosplay blaster. But I could see this being painted all silver, kind of look like a Promethean bolt shot. Though I do find the Hammer Storm to be more like the bolt shot, but I could see it being like the bolt shot. It has that generic that that Promethean shape to it and all that. And if I had a second one, I probably would paint it all silver. It's just all the detailing on it ruins it i painted the long arm and it was such a pain to paint so unless you're painting it in a solid color i would not recommend painting a doom lambs blaster and all that hey 69 but anyway so so the cosplay aspect for this blaster whether you be using it for steampunk for atom punk or for halo the cost, the potential is there. Whereas with the Fortnite blaster, all you could paint it to look like is the fort is the Fortnite blaster from the game, and or just have the Peely one because I believe that's a skin, so you don't even have to paint it. You already have your cosplay weapon right here. Because literally, this is the easiest cosplay blaster, the Peely blaster, because you could just buy yourself a banana suit. Put on some sunglasses, and there you go, you're peely. So that is a that is technically a bonus I'm going to give to this blaster. But in a Nerf War, practicality-wise, if you were to choose between these three, I would say choose this. And figure out a way how to take it home without anybody seeing. But yeah, choose choose a four victory. I don't know why, but the girl blasters are just some of the best blasters. They hit, I don't know why they even hit harder, too. You would think that it would be a little bit weaker and all that, but I do miss the the Rebel line. I kind of wish it came back and all that it's because those blasters, even though they're kind of like gimmicky, I like the smoothness, but I also like the performance is good and some of them just had unique looks to it. They were like, they even had like alternate skins. But yeah, this is the one I would use in a war. I'm going to cosplay, this is your budget cosplay uh, blaster, but this is the one that you are an artist, you're going to make something work and all that, this is your challenge. Okay, I wouldn't recommend it, I, uh, there was such a pain. But if you're going to like paint individually these little s fake screw points and all that, you're going to sand all of this, you're going to put LEDs in something, this is the blaster you want. Okay. This has that look to it. But yeah, this video went on a little longer than I expected. And it was supposed to be really short, too. Because it's a really simple thing. Just, here you go. Use this. They, they're pretty much all the same. But, yeah, just... But, as I was doing it, I'm like... Yeah, they have their their pluses and minuses. They're pretty much... They are all the same blaster internally. 
but they do have a pro that makes them stand out, but they're not really useful in general. It's a weird, weird video, but thank you very much. You all have a nice day and a good night. Bye-bye.